The EMS Group is active worldwide in the fields of polymer materials and fine chemicals engineering. The successful company has recently had its warehousing capacity expanded, with the construction of a third warehouse alongside the two existing high bay warehouses at its Domat EMS site. The contract for the new high bay warehouse comprised the delivery, installation and commissioning of High Bay Warehouse 3. The existing materials handling system in the dispatch hall was also modified and the new system integrated into the existing Ems Chemie Warehouse Management System. By choosing Jung Heinrich as its intralogistics partner, the company was able to successfully fulfill all its requirements. It took just seven months to construct the tallest High Bay Warehouse in Switzerland with 12,800 pallet positions. Jung Heinrich was one of several candidates selected at a relatively late stage. Once it was awarded the contract, it did not have a great deal of time to put its internal organization in place. But this went very well. Mr. Fritschi has proven to be an excellent project manager. Our main challenge was of course that we would be creating the tallest high bay warehouse in Switzerland and doing this to a very tight schedule. We were awarded the contract on the 15th of October with the operator wanting to go live in mid-July. However, we worked with the customer's construction management department to set out our objectives. Our first priority is safety, with quality second, and the deadline only in third. The helicopter flights were used primarily for the steel support structures. They enabled us to lift the heavy steel supports up onto the roof. And we also bundled small components into loads weighing up to 900 kilos, flying them up onto the roof in single flights. What makes this building special is its height in relation to its area. The building was narrowed in width by a planned thoroughfare. The building was therefore built to a height of 44 meters with a relatively small floor area. The stress on the base plates from the planned full capacity is enormous. The 70 centimeter thick plates are able to withstand the highest of loads. With a facade area of around 7,000 square meters and a roof area of 1,500 square meters, construction of the building was a challenge for all those involved. The heavy steel support structures were transported to their destination by helicopter. The building height and wind loads required special attachments. Safety naturally came first throughout the construction project. Consequently, construction work at heights was halted when the wind got up. The world's largest pneumatic crane was used to lower the two rack operating systems through the roof openings into the aisles. The conversion and expansion took place during normal operation. Today our main components were put into place. The moving rack operating systems which transport the pallets from goods inward into the stands and retrieve them again. We lowered these in through the roof openings today.
It was hectic. We were working to a tight schedule, which was made even tighter by an event organized by Ems Shami. We were then given the target of finishing two weeks ahead of schedule. We succeeded in doing this to the day. But perhaps this was not a bad thing. A little bit of added pressure helps you achieve your goal quickly. The schedule was always very carefully adhered to. We worked with an excellent project manager who was always happy to listen, who always made an effort if small changes were required, if there were scheduling conflicts. He always helped us, thereby ensuring that we were able to stick to the schedule. It was an expansion of the existing buildings, but to an extent we've never had before. So now we have a maximum filling level with maximum weight within which we can store our materials. We have very fast access times to the pallets. It runs like clockwork and it really is a joy to watch the new warehouse in operation. I'm proud that it's now in operation.